So you're looking for the facts, reasons, conditional ideas, and cause and effect information. But how do you actually take the notes? Most students write down way too much information. They want to copy the book's wording. However, that is not the most effective way. It's too robotic. The exercise of rewording forms synapses in the brain, which promote memory. I want my students to engage in the process. They must really think about what they just read so they can formulate their own way of saying it. In other words, people communicate with each other in complete sentences, but we don't think that way. In fact, the brain stores memories as relationships, associations, categories, symbols, abbreviations, short phrasings or groupings. We even think in pictures. Let me give you an example. If I said the word raisin to you, would you think of the letters R-A-I-S-I-N? Or would you picture a little dried up grape? So if we think in, if we're thinking in pictures, some of your notes could also be Perhaps pictures. you're studying the Transcontinental Railroad. You'd want to write that word down one time and perhaps use the abbreviation RR. I've drawn a picture of a railroad track. At either end of it, the two railroad companies that were starting from both ends of the track and meeting in the middle, we had the, the Central Pacific Railroad starting in the west and the Union Pacific Railroad from the east. They met at Promissory Summit in Utah in 1869, where they drove in the golden spike, being the last spike that they needed. So a lot of information is given pictorially. It's a lot more fun to look at, especially when a, a lot of what you're doing is reading, reading, reading. And if you're using like a highlighter and, and underlining the important things, you're getting way too much information. Again, you're, you've got sentence structure and your, your brain doesn't remember things like that. So condensing the material to your own understanding is really much more helpful. The point is to take the notes as clearly and as simply as possible so that you retain the meaning of what you really need to remember. This is a skill that improves with practice. You will know you're doing it correctly when you can answer the questions and complete the worksheets or write a report without rereading your text. Your notes will become more valuable when you go to study for those unit tests. You won't be rereading the textbook the night before the exam. And you'll be happily surprised to know that when all those chapters that you covered way back in September will come alive to you again when you study for your midterms and end of the year tests because you took the notes from your own understanding and memorialized them in your own notebook. Furthermore, your notebook is going to be yours to keep. Uh, I suggest that you use uh, a designated spiral or notebook, some, organize yourself some way where it's only science and it's only social studies. That way, you're, you'll always have those notes in your possession. Lots of times teachers will, will collect the worksheets to be graded and pass them back a little too late for you to really be studying along the way for those final exams and quizzes. So the notes are a, a very valuable resource for you.